I'm at the truck stop at a pilot in Hebron, Indiana. There is a truck that is leaking fuel directly into the drainage. By the way, thank you for all the field reporters for this Sunday's video. She knows. She said she's been there for a couple of hours. And as a matter of fact, the pilot is the people that told her to park there. Dude, I don't know about you guys, but this this guy's nose hair. This guy's like a nose hair, like one real long nose hair, and it's freaking me out. It, I don't know if it's freaking you guys out, but this guy's. Listen, Mr. Field Reporter, clip that clip that uh, that nose hair. It's, it's bothering the crap out of me. It makes me want to go start. Mm, mm, mm. I mean, I don't know what the hell they're thinking. Like I said, she said she's been there for a couple of hours. One Way Express is a trailer. 22002. I mean, what the hell is she thinking? This is some total bad word. I've called the cops on this. I mean, they need to get fined or whatever. I need to get me one of those Karen wigs. I I'm gonna sell them on the Teespring, see if we can figure that out. Wow. Truck number 1807. I'm telling you, I'm disgusted. I just got off the phone with One Way Express. That's about leaking fuel. And you know what? They could really care less. I mean, they're like, oh, we got somebody coming out. How can a company let their driver stay over a damn sewer and let it fuel, let, let it drain? To the damn sewer. Did you call 911, driver? That, that's what we all want to know. Did you call 911? I think that's what you should have done. Call 911, the EPA, the FMA, the CPS, the FMCSR, the everybody involved, the FBI, CIA, dash trucking.com. 911, call them. Call them right now. Even like it's probably a few days later. You can still call them, you know, because they may give a crap. How? What the hell's the company thinking? I hope they get a hell of a fine. I'm really tired of this company I'm working with. I ain't making no money. I don't know what to tell you. What you... Where are, you, where are you at? Well, I'm not really going to say, but I'm getting really tired of being a big time owner operator, but getting small time wages at 70% of the load. Why are you getting 70% of the load when you're an owner operator? Well, I don't know. It's just the easiest thing I can get. I don't know. Just all these people out here don't treat us right. I've been telling you about TRC Freight forever, okay? You can make up to 90%. You could sit there and choose your loads and get full transparency with the with the rate cons and everything like that. Plus, they're offering medical benefits. What? How come? How come I've never seen this before? I've been telling you about it forever on this channel. Well, I've been skipping through that part because I like to see old Swifty Swift. If, if you're not happy where you're at, what you need to go do is check out trcandme.com. You know, see what they have to offer and get up out of now that situation you're at right now. You got an excellent point there, driver. So you say TRC. TRC, the right carrier. TRC and me. Com. Well, I guess, I guess uh, you got an excellent point. Maybe I'll go check out their website, but how about we watch some bonehead truckers first? That sounds like an excellent idea. Let's go watch some bonehead truckers and, yeah, then go to TRC. And figure, right when I was getting ready to pull out with mine, USA Trucking 
along with his flip-flops. Say it ain't so, driver. Say it ain't so. More flip-flops. Say it ain't so. Didn't, check, didn't do a pole test, then check his trailer and dropped it right dead in front of me. You ever think about turning off your flashers? Kind of annoying. Everybody knows where I'm going to be sending this video. Yeah, he jumped up inside to make a phone call. I need him to move so I can get out of here. Well, isn't this a fine kettle of fish? Kettle of fish. Kettle of fish. Kettle of fish. Kettle of fish. It's a fine kettle of fish. Uh, I'm from Texas. Can someone explain that for me, please? I'm from, like, uh, not only am I from Texas, I'm from East Texas. What is a kettle of fish? That there swift driver just dropped his trailer. And now he's looking for the yard that I... I'm really tired of you making videos about swift. So, I'm thinking more like when you guys hook up to your trailers, you know, it's this thing called a tug test. And if you're not familiar with a tug test, what you do is you back all the way up, well, you back slightly up under it first, you check it, you lower it slightly, and then you back all the way up again until you hear this click sound. Once you hear that click, when you pull on it, that's when you put it back in drive. You pull on it a little bit, you shouldn't go nowhere. And then you back it up a little bit more, you make sure it's wiggled all the way. And when you're getting the, out the cab to hook up that there uh, electrical wiring and the air brakes and everything, and then when you're cranking this here fifth wheel, which is on the other side, when you're cranking that there fifth wheel, you want to make sure that while you get up under there, you check, you check it. And once you check it, you should be all good. Things like this wouldn't really happen. But it's swift. What can you expect? I'm tired of you talking about Swift all the time! It's getting really old! It's getting really old! Lee Swift alone is my favorite company! <laughs> old Swifty Swift. Best in class. I'm really tired of you making many yells about Swift! There it is. Got himself stuck in some mud. Tow truck getting set up. Yeah, that's somebody, somebody field. Um, that's not a field. Maybe it, like used to be a field. It's not even like a like a dirt lot. It's just like a bunch of dirt. It's not a field. It's it's. And and you could tell people been turning around there. And that that tow truck has probably been there plenty of times too. Yep, probably knows all about it. Probably has that set rate. But yep, that's nine hundred dollar. That's a thousand dollar pull out right there. And he's over there connected to it. He's stuck. Come on now, you don't go through mud. Old Swifty Swift tow truck pulling him out now. Now this guy just got pulled out. Same guy just got pulled out, and he jumps the curb. Y'all, I don't understand this. It just seems like every time someone pulls up and hooks up to a Swift trailer, it's just like people just start doing dumb stuff. Notice how this is not a Swift truck. It's a third party. But, you know, we've we've dealt with these owner opsies, little people that, that sign on and pull Swift trailers. It's not the first time. And it's just like it just happens all the time. It's just like, hey. It's kind of like this past Wednesday when we showed that trailer trying to like play dead. <laughs> like, please don't hook up to me. 
I'll just play dead over here. Like, maybe this is what this trailer should have done. <laughs> just sit there and play dead. And he's about to get stuck again. Look at this, guys. Look at this. Same swift person. He didn't hop the curb. He didn't swing it wide. He can't make this stuff up. He might get out of there. He might get out of there. Let's see if he gets out. Let's see if he gets out. Okay, let's see what he does. Screw you if anyone you say, like, well you should have got out and help instead of recording. The tow truck driver, which is still right there, that was his help. Alright? So I don't wanna hear. It. Let's see if he can clear this barrier. Oh, uh, what do we got here? It not, say it ain't so. We got the flip flops at a customer. Got flip flops at a customer. Say it ain't so. Say it ain't so. Oh my gosh, what is with these young ladies out here driving and showing up with flip flops on? You know what? It's like this driver. This old retired driver right here bought this shirt. All right. <laughs> Real truckers don't wear flip flops. That's how the retired folk do it. I'm just saying, guys, we switched it up this Sunday. You know, I don't know if this going to work out with all the little clips we did, but uh, hey, I had fun making it. Hopefully, you guys had a little bit of a laugh too, guys. If you got clips or videos you want to send to see on Bonehead Truckers, send them to contact at boneheadtruckers.com or join our Facebook group, Say No to Bonehead Truckers. That's how people get the clips out here. And hey, you guys have a good one. Stay safe out there. And don't end up on Bonehead Truckers, okay? Just don't do it. Or shame on the mess. And shame on you.